That's a little low. Hi everyone, I'm Keith Warren and welcome to Hunting and Outdoor Adventures. This week we'll be doing something I've never done before. We'll be joining up with the boys from Night and Hail Game Calls going after a spring turkey. Then it's off to deep South Texas for a deer hunt. So stick around. Springtime in Texas means blue bonnets. Springtime in Texas also means that the Rio Grande turkey is in full strut, looking to get close to a hen or to a hunter who has the skill and the luck to draw him in. Now I've never hunted turkey in the spring before. The few I've taken were in the fall in conjunction with a deer hunt. But just recently I've had some folks really sell me on the thrill of spring turkey hunting. It's got a lot of skill to it, a lot of art to it, where shooting, just shooting a, a deer, a turkey with a rifle doesn't have. And if you get the experience of having a turkey answer you and, and, and work a turkey, sometimes just for a little while or sometimes all morning long, it's just a tremendous experience and you feel like you're getting the ultimate out of, out of using your skills as a hunter. There's very few wildlife species out there where you've got the interaction of the turkey or the game and the hunter. And this interaction really becomes something unique in that the hunter becomes the hunted. It didn't take too much more persuading before I was camoed up and out in the field, ready for action. Now, if there's anything I know about spring turkey hunting, it's that I don't know anything about spring turkey hunting. So I got in touch with the boys from Knight and Hale Game Calls. Not only are Harold Knight and David Hale expert turkey callers, they also produce their own hunting tapes. I'm hoping they'll be able to help us out to get a good gobbler and get it on video. We met up with Harold and David at a ranch in Central Texas where they introduced us to the Live Oak Outfitters, Van Johnson and Colorado Buck, who told us about where we'd be hunting. We've got about 20,000 acres under lease running from the skeet flats to the live oak draws. There's a lot of turkeys. A lot of days we've seen several hundred birds out here. This ranch hasn't been hunted for several years and we're harvesting mostly four and five year old birds. This place is special in that it's got a, a, a large number of roost areas. These ranches that we're leasing primarily are the drainages. And once you get off the uh, mesquite and it comes down into the, to the drainages, it turns into your, to your shin oak and your, your live oak. And there's, there's a, probably eight or 10 groups of real large, large live oaks, maybe you know, three, 400 year old trees. That's serving as the roost areas right there. When you're spring turkey hunting, you need to keep an eye out for these roosting areas. So that first afternoon, David Hale and I went out scouting. And while we were looking for a likely roosting spot, David gave me a few pointers on how to use a simple turkey call. All you have to do is a little old call like this little push pull of ours, is take it, stick it on your hand right there. And you build into it. You start out with short strokes, long strokes, and short strokes. But one thing I know is you're not taking your hand off the box. I'm not taking my hand off of it. That's just for the basic hip. Now, we can do some other tricks with it. I want you to take it, put it in your hand, Stick your hand right up there on it, because you're not, no, no. Turn it upside down, just like I had it right there, and get your hand right up here on this end. You won't push. Golly, it's simple. You know what? For the average guy, calling is only a small percent of the game, but hunting is the large percent of it. So as a tip here real quick, find something you can make a basic if with, and then learn something about the turkey. When Hunting and Outdoor Adventures continues, we'll see how well this call works as David Hale and I try to draw in an elusive Rio Grande gobbler. Early in the morning, we set up along one of the places we scouted and started calling. We had put ourselves right in the path of some gobblers who came up so close to us that I could have thrown shells at them by hand. David convinced me not to take one because it was too dark to get it on video, so we had to move on. Come on up here, Keith. I heard that turkey right out yonder a while ago. Let me do a little yipping right here and see if we can get him to answer. Oh, oh, did you hear you? Richard, come on, we gotta get over and sit up. Bring that tripod, come on. Yeah, right here. Hey, 
you get down right here. Sit down right here. Okay. All right, man. Have that thing right quick. Okay, man. Go put that motion decoy out. Yes, sir. challenge well there's my first ever spring turkey and now that I've experienced the thrill of calling in a big beautiful bird like this you can bet it won't be my last <laughs>